Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to compare two files containing similar information. Um, in this case we have file 1 and file 2 with a similar information and show IP int 1 and show IP int 2 as a second set of files containing the similar information. First I'll show you how to do the comparison on the file 1 and file 2 txt and then we we'll have a look at the show IP int 1 and 2 txt so uh, file 1 looks like this and the second file contains the similar information but uh, with a slight modifications for example uh, in Henry we have capital H here in the second file Sophia in the first file has been updated to Sophie. Mark remains the same. Jane has been updated to James. Samuel has been updated to Sam. And on the second file, we've updated the extra name. We added the extra name William in there for the comparison. So the actual uh, Python file is called compare to in this instance and it looks like this so we are importing the uh, python diff library as well as we are going to use some uh, slip timer to actually give a uh, the computer to actually process this uh, so we need to import two modules. So I've actually made uh, uh, this into a function, so compare function. So show pre, and then this is just a placeholder for the show pre, and then this is actually a placeholder for show post. So th basically this is a first you know, file, second file placeholders. Now show pre lines, equals open so dot slash meaning you know in this you know folder uh, file one dot txt open the file one dot txt file read the lines so this actually converts into strings first for comparison and then we do the same for the second file and then it will actually hold the string for the comparison. Um, in here, we are going to actually need four arguments for HTML diff function. What we are trying to do here is we do the comparison and then we put them side by side and create the XML file uh, so we can actually have a look at the difference uh, on a single uh, web browser. So the difference equals diff live HTML diff. The, uh, this W wrap column uh, is actually 80, meaning that we want 80 characters in each line. Dot make underscore file will make uh, a file by doing the comparison of the four uh, arguments. So show pre lines post lines, so that's actually grabbing the information from here and there. Show pre and then show post is the placeholders you know that we need to fulfill. And then we create the report by opening another file, creating a new file and then write it to the file. So the different report writes to the diff, write the differences to the different report file and then we finally close the the report and then we sleep uh, go to pause for 0 0.5 seconds and of course we're gonna run the compare file here so let's quickly um, clear this so as you can see we only have um, two four five files here Let's actually quickly run uh, compare 2.py and 
let's see what happens. So we actually use Python 3 and then compare to. So it says it's actually completed. And then now we can check that the file has been compared and it's actually created a HTML. So now I'll open this one in uh, Chrome. As you can see on the show pre and the show post, you can see the difference. So Henry with a H changed to capital H. Sophia, Sophia's A changed to Sophie with the E. Mark remains the same. Jane and James, James has updated to Jane. Samuel has been updated to Sam. And then we added a sixth line William, which wasn't there in the first file. Okay. Now, if we actually modify this, uh, modify this to, so we'll just copy compare to, and then we'll just say this to compare to IP. and then we are going to actually uh, update the information we just need to actually update uh, this information Okay, show IP not one and show IP not two cap. So as you can see, it looks like this. We'll just rename the compare file HTML file as well. Int comparison. Okay, that looks actually better. Now we have this and run the script. Okay, now we have the show IP int comparison HTML. So if we go back to our desktop there it is okay open it in the Google Chrome and as you can see as you can see there's actually a difference here so the interface is actually gone down before it was actually up up in the file one and in the second file, it was actually down, down. So this can be used in the production like this when you actually perform the uh, troubleshooting. Okay. Okay, bye for now.